Good Nair Shabbos, Good Nair Shabbos, Parshas Vayelech. We are still in Vayelech. Still in Vayelech. We're going the whole week. We sat there some Mahalchem Bena Oimdim. We're the Mahalchem between the Oimdim. The Malachim are armed them and I'm sure our Malachim were able to go around, move around, Bechira. So once we know how to go, we know how to be in Vayelech by, by being Nitzavim or being by holding on, by being in it. And we can be going, going, going for Nitzchi forever. That's ultimately where we're heading. So, um, yeah, as we can see, uh, fine, we'll finish with that pasuk, I guess. We'll tell you, sure. So, Allah Kim Betrua. That's the, uh, that's the whole thing that's going on on Rosh uh, Hashanah. Uh, I mean, that's all, uh, everything. But that is a strong thing. He's listening to through us Amay with Rachamim. So, you know, there's another another Oshprach, which is all the Kosher Lekem, all the Lekim Betrua, Hashem Bekel Shoifar. So what's going on with this trua? What's happening? What are we? What are we touching? What are we communicating with? And what's the response that we are receiving? And how do we? What's happening? What's the instructions? How do we communicate with this? How do we come aligned with this? Although the kimbe trua, there's a message over here. It's a code. It's a. It's a cloud. It's an honor to to go on to. So. So we have to understand that. He's nothing that we can imagine, and we keep hammering it that uh, our, our way of thinking is not the way his way of thinking is because he just created us. And and, and this is Keser Atka until here we're going. That's it. And what happens after? What happens then? That's it. It's finished. It can be. We're infinite. We're part of. We're. we're we're out, we're not, we're out, we're, we're, we are, we are, we're Nitzchi, we are, we're godly beings, we're, we're the son of this, the firstborn and only born child. So how do we communicate with it? So we have the Kol Shoifer. The Shoifer is done in different ways, and then the way, the, what we explored on this, this year was that it's, um, it's before the Aleph, as the, the Altar brings it down from the Boshem uh, in the Mahzir, the, the Maimur, um, that we are before Aleph, we, we have to go into a place where we not, we're not imposing anything. And how do we do that? Koil Pashit is, is from the heart, it goes through the heart, and it comes out with a voice. And this is our Koil Dimamadaka, that's how we communicate. And every, the, the Tkia is one one signal, then you have the Shvarim, which is Duvuris, and then the Trua, which is more gavuras, but it's it's so fast that it connects in, but it connects and then becomes chasadim, because it's not a nifrid, and it's a powerful oil that comes into the veld as we're bringing in, we're communicating with that, and it sends us back that type of shefa. So, so that's the that's the truah. This is how we, we we go in there, and what do we do this through through tefillah, a very powerful tefillah with a big tzibur, a powerful tefillah. And what happens there is that on Rosh Hashanah we we don't have any intermediaries. There's nobody in between us. We're straight with it. We are already. We're prepped for a month. Now we're standing in its presence. In its presence, it all depends on our way how the earth is going to come down. It's going to come anyways. But we decide we're triggering Malchus to 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 give us to recreate the world with it, the way we should receive the proper Shef and other. And um, and that's what that's what um, that happens with the shofar. So now, just to look at Rosh Hashanah Kesevim, that we need to understand now that we're stepping into the world of the oil with the, with the energy, with everything that we understand that it's not physical anymore. The archoyzer, the brach, and the klala, mi yichir, mi yamus. 
who's gonna wake up and who's gonna stay stay asleep. Miba Maim and Miba Eish. Who's gonna be? Who's gonna find this path with, with Chasadim and who's gonna be with fire? We're not talking about burning anybody, Gafi. We're talking about fire of to receive, to how to be aware, to look out. Miba Cherev. Who's gonna go through that way? Miya Ani, Miya Asher, Mi Shafel, Mi Yorim. Different ways of how it's gonna be opened up. How you and this is what we're diving for. That it should be, it should be with with Chesed. It should be with Chasadim. It should get the message. And all of the Kim Betrua, to go back to that, is, um, as we say in Kedusha, um, it's not Lumas uh, Seraphim, it's not Seraphim, it's Yeah, I know. I have to find it. Okay, so we have Az There's a Rash Godel, we hear the sound of the coil. Misnasim, it carries them. Lumas Seraphim, connect a keg the the Seraphim, the fire. So the coil aligns with the fire and, and one carry each other. And that's the power that's happening when the Malachim are singing. And here we see also what the coil is, how you're supposed to go become one with the coil. The coil of that. And that is the same coil that we have with the with the shofar. Although the Kimbutrua. And if you go further, other misodima offer, wesofila offer. Okay, katitza in over katel over ich on a kala ich liach nashavas ich over pereach. Okay, chaloim yof. It's it's like the dust that flies away, the wind that moves around. Okay, chaloim yof. You like oh, you wake up from from a dream. And this is what happens from the shofar. When I start connecting to the coil shofar, when I start connecting to Umas Seraphim, the Ashmi and the coil, to the sound of the voice with with the power of a tzibir of of praying, davening together, this is what we're doing. We're turning into to malachim, but we are humans, way more powerful because we have bechira and we choose. There's way more power in that. And here we see that what happens is that once I have the coil of the shofar that I listen, I tune into then I know where my where I really reside. I'm not in my physical. And I know that that doesn't mean living or dying. It means who's going to wake up and who's not because I'm not looking at it from a physical. Because the physical is the nachash. Only that needs to die. And the way it dies is by just becoming, negating it, right? That's what that's what Chassidus is teaching us. So once you tune into the shofar, you're able to break down the physical, I'm able to break down my ego when I'm tapping into to the coil of the shofar, the power of that. And it says this week in the Parsha that that Yeshua, Yeshua is going to bring in the Eden. And Yeshua is the moon. Moshe Rabbeinu was the sun. Yeshua was the moon. The moon is Am Yisrael, Malchus. We have to put in the work. Nobody's gonna, nobody's going to be able to do it. Nobody's going to do it for for me. I have to get it. I have to understand. I have to step into it, and I have to fall into this to this Kava Muna. Right? Yeshua, which is the moon. <laughs> 